Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Sean. Today I'm going to be doing a few things, hopefully pretty relatively short. Um, first I want to do a book review for you guys. I have not been reading very much this year, but um, I read this bird. I recently read this book, uh, Night by Ellie Weisel. This is a book on the top 1000 list by James Mustich, A Thousand Books to Read Before You Die. Uh, the reason I decided to read this book now is because, bird, at the bookstore there is at least one signed book by this author there. Um, so I was real intrigued about getting it. I think it's something like $60. And, you know, I'm such a sucker for signed books. So I wanted to read this book first because it's also so sh so short to see if I wanted to get the signed book by him. Um, so just kind of to give you a conclusion on that is I do not think I'm going to get a signed book by him. I think it would be cool um, having a signed book by him. But the book that they have signed is like some like study of like rabbinical something like you know a study of Judaism or something which is just not really interesting to me if it was like you know a signed copy of part of this trilogy it's actually a trilogy of books I think it's like night uh, night uh, night dawn and day that's kind of like the trilogy of the books um, if it was part of that trilogy signed, I would probably get it for that price. Um, but yeah, I just, my bookshelves are kind of too full that, bird, I don't really want that at that price. Just, I'm not really interested in that book. I'll never read that book. And I don't care enough about the author to basically add it to my shelf. It would be cool though, it's just the signed book they have. I don't want really a book about like the study of Judaism or whatever, um, not to be offensive or whatever. It's just not for me. It's something I'd never read, no interest in it. And my bookshelves are kind of just overflowing, so I'm trying to be more selective about the signed books I do get, which is actually going to be interesting because I actually have two new signed books. Um, one major change, like since I've done booktube videos, bird, uh, just the other night, actually, I took off my Harry Potter books off of the shelf because, you know, I've kind of decided I'm never probably going to reread them. So they're just taking up a lot of space, like almost half of a shelf here. And I could use that space for other books. And so, yeah, I decided to get rid of my Harry Potter books. I just traded them into the bookstore today, which is kind of a bittersweet thing because, I mean, those are the Harry Potter books that I read. And, you know, I think it's a great series. Everyone should read it. Um, but I just kind of had to get rid of them to create bookshelf space. Anyway, so, um, Night. Uh, this book is basically about this Holocaust survivor. Bird, Ellie Weisel. He was in Auschwitz, at least briefly for one time. Um, so this book, Night, is about his um, experiences going through the Holocaust. The next book, uh, Dawn, is kind of like the aftermath of that and then I think Day is written kind of like his life beyond that point so yeah it's like it begins with night it begins you know with the darkest moment with the holocaust so anyway um just kind of as a review of this book it's real difficult to like review it and it's always difficult to review like any kind of like autobiography or memoirs because it feels like in a way like you're rating the person's life like hmm i think you had a two-star life you know i mean that just sounds really weird um, but anyway, so this is a book about the Holocaust, and I think it basically does everything it should. I mean, you know, it lets you know about all these terrible things that are happening. It doesn't really, um, I don't know how to say it. It doesn't, it doesn't treat you with kid gloves here. I mean, it lets you know the terrible things that are happening. It, you know, it shows you all that. But it doesn't really seem like it's written, like, too much, like it's twisting the knife. So it's not like really going overboard, trying to like really, really make you feel bad for this guy. I mean, it's just told in like real 
plain matter of fact style and that's part of why it's so short you know he doesn't draw it out he basically just says you know real quickly like you know they shot the guy and we i saw him fall and he was dead and then you know i kept walking and then there's another guy who's dead or whatever you know i'm sorry for laughing it's not appropriate at all um so, I mean, he does tell you all the terrible things that are happening in the Holocaust and, you know, absolutely terrible things, but it's not really going overboard. So, like, one thing for me is I've pretty much decided I am not going to read the diary of Van Frank just because I do not want to, like, deal with that emotionally or mentally or whatever. Um... But I read this book in part because it was so short and also because I wanted to see if I wanted to get the signed book by him. And yeah, so it's basically everything I expected it to be, but it's not at all like, you know, too difficult, even though it's a very difficult subject and he doesn't like, you know, treat it easily. He lets you know all the terrible things that are happening. I think it's a real good, well-written book and yeah, so like if you're kind of like me where you're worried like, you know, the Holocaust, that's a real dark subject. I don't want to get in that into that. I'll cry and it'll just make me so mad what they did to all these people. Um, you definitely will feel that, I think. But because it's so short and because of his style, it's just real matter of fact style. I think it's real quite, um, I don't want to say easy to read, but it's not too difficult to get through. So I think I read it in three sittings, I believe. It's only eh, about a hundred page book or so. Um, and yeah, so the long and short of it is I think I would recommend it. I think it's definitely a good book. Um, it's definitely, I'm glad this book exists because, you know, things like this need to be written. It needs to exist. We need to know what happened in that time. And yeah, Usually I probably wouldn't like give it any kind of a rating because I mean again that just feels weird to like rate someone's life essentially. But essentially I do think this is basically a five star book. I think it's really quite flawless in everything it does. And yeah, so I, I think it's a real good book. If you want to read it, I think it's absolutely worth giving it a try. Definitely worth reading. If you want to read any book about the Holocaust, this is probably a pretty decent one to read because it lets you know firsthand from a survivor of Auschwitz and the Holocaust what he experienced, but not too detailed. It doesn't go overboard with the details. Next, the signed books I got. So I had like $30 credit to like trade in uh, to get new books for free basically since I traded in the Harry Potters and a couple other books. So I had $30 credit and so I saw first this book which I'll go through in a minute um, and then I saw there was a signed sticker on it and I was like what? Is this signed? And I opened it up and I saw it was, and it was only $10. So I was like, ooh, heck yeah, I'll get that. Um, but first, this other one, uh, The High Road by Ben Bova. So I have seen Ben Bova's books. What a cool name. I guess alliteration, Ben Bova. Um, you know, I've seen several of his books in the science fiction fantasy section. So when I saw this after this book, you know, I was kind of like, uh, well, I want to get books on my credit, and so Ben Bova, I've heard of that guy before, so I'll get it. I'll give it a try, and again, it's signed, so that's cool. Oh, and cool, on the front there, there's a, uh, a quote or whatever, a reference or whatever you call those. What are those called? A uh, um, review or a comment or... Gosh, why is my brain going blank? It's been doing that a lot lately. I wonder if I have dementia. Um... There's a quote by Ray Bradbury at the bottom, like talking about Ben Bova. So the fact that Ray Bradbury knew of this author is pretty cool. That should tell you he's a pretty um, remarkable author, I guess, if, like, you know, Ray Bradbury really likes him. So I guess that makes me more enthusiastic about it. Basically, I just got it because I saw several of this guy's books on the science fiction fantasy shelf. And I've heard of him. I don't know anything he's written, but I'm a sucker for signed books and I had store credit. So I was like, eh, what the heck? So I'm glad I got it. The High Road by Ben Bova. 
Then, the other one, this is the one that excited me, and I don't know how excited I should be, but basically, uh, same case with the other author, I've seen this guy's books on the shelf a lot. But I mean, I've actually seen a lot of these guys, this guy's books. He's on there a lot. We have a lot of this guy's books. Um, but it's Roger Zelanzny. Roger Zelanzny. Um, Night of Shadows. And I guess the new Amber novel, I guess that is kind of like this guy's magnum opus was like the Amber something chronicles. Um, and I think this was, I looked it up, this was like the second to last book in the series. I think the guy died in like 1995 or something like that. And this, um, bless you, <laughs> my mom just sneezed, I don't know if you heard that. Uh, this book is inscribed. So anyway, I'm excited to have this. As soon as I saw a signed book by this guy, Roger Zelanzani, you know, I kind of knew I had to get it, especially for $10 because I've just seen this guy's books a lot on the shelf. So to me, it's a real prominent author. I don't know like exactly how prominent, um, but yeah. So I actually have a lot of like science fiction fantasy signed books. So I have, you know, Ben Bova, Roger Zelanzani. I have a George R. R. Martin. I have two or three, I think uh, three, I guess. Uh, Brandon Sanderson signed books. I have a two, I think, Ray Bradbury signed books. In fact, one of them, uh, 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 Fahrenheit 451 signed. Isn't that sweet? Um, oh, and then I just crash it on the bookshelf. Um, and I have like Orson Scott Card signed book. I have, who's the guy who wrote Dune? Frank Herbert. I have, I think, two of his books. I think I got one of the Dune books signed. I forget. I think I do. Um, and also I have like one of Frank Herbert's son, Brian, a signed book by him. And you know, like fantasy books, I have like uh, Veronica Roth, the author of Divergent. I recently got a Suzanne Collins, the author of Hunger Games, a signed book by her. Gosh, I don't even know. Like there's an Ursic, Ursula K. Le Guin. She kind of writes fantasy-ish books. So anyway, I'm kind of getting like quite a few like fantasy science fiction authors signed books. And that's like just a genre I do not read. But apparently I collect autographs by them pretty well. So I'm excited about that. So anyway, I'm excited to have a signed book by Roger Zelens and he, I'll have to read him now. I imagine I'll read the first book in this series. So probably tomorrow at the bookstore, I'll probably look for that. So yeah. Okay, and then real quickly, I just want to run through the books I'm currently reading. Most of these I've been reading for a long while because I've just been having such a slow reading year and just making such bad progress reading. But I am still reading The Cane Mutiny by Herman Woke. This is a signed book, which is real sweet. Um, not far into it at all, just, you know, not even quite 30%. Thank you, baby. Um, Gunther Goras, The Tin Drum. I'm only like 10, 15 pages into that. I don't know. I think it's not really for me, but I'm still, you know, I'm only like 15 pages in, so not giving up on that. Uh, just last night, I think I began reading Stranger in a Strange Land by Robert A. Heinlein, another science fiction fantasy author, not signed. Um, the main way I know this is from Iron Maiden. They have a song called Stranger in a Strange Land. Um, I think it's an okay book actually so far, so liking it pretty well. Um, then there's Rebecca West, Black Lamb and Grey Falcon. Look at the size of this book. This is a massive book. Uh, this is actually like a memoirs sort of, of like her experiences in, um, gosh, I guess like Czechoslovakia or something like that, uh, before World War II. And it's just a massive book and I really do like her writing style. So I like this author I guess but thank you baby I'm only like 50 pages in and it's like a thousand page book so I don't know how much longer I'll keep reading this book but basically my conclusion of the book for sure will be she's definitely a talented writer and I like her writing it's just I'm having such a slow reading year at some point I may have to just give up on this book because I need to move on to other things 
And then finally, I also began this fairly recently as well, but The Bookshop by Penelope Fitzgerald. Uh, the bookstore owner really recommended this book. Uh, there is another book by this author on the top 1000 list, I think called Offshore, which I do have. But this is the one the bookstore owner recommended, so I decided to read it first. I'm about 30% into it, just probably, you know, 30, 40 pages or so. And I'm not really liking it much, but I mean, it's okay. Not bad, but definitely not grabbing me so far. But anyway, I think that is about it. Um, I do not know if there's anything I want to talk about, but I think that'll be it for this video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I'm not reading very much this year. You know, I've just kind of been more involved with writing and editing. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. See you in, in another video, hopefully. Bye. Two, three, four.